Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Guys, we are raising the American Bison. Had a lot going on here recently, as if, if you've if you watched my past couple of videos, had a lot going on with Noah, uh, the Missouri sale, and then what's going on here at the Bison Ranch is a big project. As you know, I'm installing a automatic water system for our Bison Ranch. And, uh, it's a lot of hard work as you can tell a lot of sweat has been happening but um, we are getting very close very close and I'm getting super excited but what I have in store for you today one today I'm gonna start laying the actual line it's a one inch schedule 40 uh, 20 foot joint pipe I'm gonna start laying that today actually and uh, kind of got some interesting stuff for you um, I, I went ahead and threw this in there, but while I've been working, there's just one day I was working out here. I let Big Joe out and Kit and Flo, them three together. I let them out every now and then. You know, it's getting green grass and whatnot. Well, Dunbar is getting feistier and feistier. I don't know what's, what's in the air. What's been going on is Dunbar gets pretty hyped up. It's Dunbar's home. Dunbar's been here forever, basically. And so... <clears throat> I let Big Joe out and what happened I was I mean I was actually pretty nervous at this point but um, their moods are starting to change a little bit and uh, I don't know if it's because of calving season is around the corner or you know breeding season is two or three months away I don't know what's going on it's the spring air green grass I'm not sure whenever I let Big Joe out there's just something that goes on between them too and i think dunbar is just trying to stand his ground and say this is my house i've been here longer i don't know but boys will be boys and uh these guys they're started to tear up our fence a little bit nothing too damaging but uh i had to kind of think about if i want to keep doing that a little bit um because uh I'm gonna show you this. I was just out here working, but, um, and I like to let them out so I can actually see them, but they're able to touch nose to nose. And now that's, that's my number one thing I was not gonna let them do, but you know, I just, I just like to see them out there roaming around and, and whatnot and eating the green grass. Yeah, not a, probably not the best idea, but so, Anyways, they were able to touch nose to nose and the boys will be boys. They get hyped up and they have to show their dominance. Well, I couldn't get Big Joe in. Um, I took the ATV out there and I tried to get Big Joe in and he was not listening. Of course, he's 2,000 pounds probably. Why wouldn't he listen to me, right? Cubes? No. Cubes weren't working at all. So, but I can get cubes for Dunbar. After they settled down, I scratched trying to get Big Joe up. I got Dunbar. I got his attention and I was able to get him in with uh, the cubes. And so I got Dunbar put away where they couldn't touch nose to nose. There's a, where there's an alley basically between them now. It's like 14 foot alley, maybe even more. They couldn't touch nose to nose. And eventually Big Joe calms down and then I was able to put Big Joe and Kit and Flo up um, with some feed <coughs> and uh, Dunbar finally come down. But that's just the way these guys are. They just, they're not used to each other and Big Joe is about to be seven years old. Dunbar is about to be four. There's a difference there. Dunbar's been here, Big Joe is new. So, you know, these are Dunbar's ladies and he's got to protect them, so. That's what we're dealing with, but um, I'm gonna have to be much more careful and uh, really make sure Dunbar is further away. So, anyways, take a look at this and uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so what I did is I trenched these in sections, and the reason I did that instead of just doing the whole thing, I had to do that in sections because the bison are out here. My big herd is out here and they will basically anytime they see this they're gonna check it out they're gonna roll in it and knock all the dirt back in so 
anyway so that means uh because i have this trench dug the bison can still get in here but right now they're down in the bottom pasture so since they're down in the bottom pasture and i've trenched this that means we get to start laying the lines so that's what i'm gonna start doing is we're gonna start laying our one inch pvc down here in this section and then i'm going to finish trenching later um, so that the bison which they already have I was trenching in some areas and they already knocked some dirt in jack wagons so but uh lesson learned don't get a walk behind trencher i didn't think it'd be that bad but it's a lot tougher than i thought going through these rocks it sucks it's taken me a lot longer than i wanted i should have got the actual tractor or rod drive don't get the walk behind get the drive kind of all right I start laying this line.
Dunbar. Come on, buddy. Got our trench mostly dug out and I'm just laying the 20 foot one inch PVC along here and I'm gonna go through and start connecting these together I'm gonna lay them on the side let them dry a little bit before I actually drop them in the holes I got to go back through and clean out some of these gaps where I was running the trencher and get some rocks out of it and then let these dry a little bit and then we'll be able to lay them actually in the trench What do you think? Huh? Skinny? Hanging out with me? Maya, no. Leave the semen alone. Get out of the way. You don't have to inspect everything. Get back. Get.
Okay, it's late in the day, I'm tired, but I just really want to try this. I've heard horror stories about it, and I just heard it's it sucks basically. Um, but it's cutting these the rims or the I'm not sure what you call it. Forgive me, but I'm gonna cut the rim out of it. I'm gonna cut this area out of it, and uh, I've watched people do it on videos before and stuff. And I'm gonna use my electric saws all here and see how it goes that one's just a little bent but um I, I got into it i already started digging into it here once i got my blade in and i'm gonna see how it goes i may need to switch out i'm using the bimetal blade on this sawzall not a very long one but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes i'm this one is scaring the crap out of me that one's haunting me that looks like that is a beast of a tire right there that is thick thick old tire but it's gonna be great for the bison all right wish me luck here we go hold on there got it cut moment of truth oh oh that's not good all right apparently the blade's not long enough what else should cut that i got a longer blade Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, <coughs> that wasn't that bad. That tire is not near as thick as what this beast of a tire is. Up north, those guys, they use a, a lot bigger ones. Up north, they, and I've got a buddy in South Dakota, Dakota Pure Bison, up in Mission, South Dakota, and those guys, they've got like a 10 foot tire. He asked me if I had one, because I was talking to him about doing this. I was like, dude, we don't have those tires. We don't have that big of tires down here. So, but this will work. Now he's running a lot of bison, a lot more bison than me on a lot of acres. You know, we don't have, we can only go so far on bison on this specific property. Um, but we're starting to reach our, our max. We're getting close to it. So we don't have to have huge waters. We just have to have waters out there so we can start rotating. Whew. All right, another day. Thank you guys for watching. It has been a heck of a process. It's been a lot of work. Um, I just wanna thank Kevin for his help. Um, he takes time out of his day after he gets home from work, helps me out, he helped me out on the weekends. And uh, I just appreciate that greatly. Appreciate, I wanna thank my wife too for letting me work on this. It, I've been out here for five or six days straight trenching getting rock out of the the trench cleaning trenches uh, you know taking care of bison doing those normal things and um, then actually laying our PVC everywhere and hooking up the connections I've been doing this for about five or six days straight on and off helping watch Brooks and doing cabin stuff so it's been a lot of work but now I got two tires ready to go I got this beast here ready. I'll get it at some point. Our fittings are set up and everything's ready. We just gotta pick the tires up, set them um, where they're gonna go, hook up the connections to it, do the last couple minute things, put my flow valve on, float, make sure the water's good, 
with the well all that before we even set the tires i'm going to concrete the tires in and hopefully we'll have some water tanks after they dry a couple of days so what a process but i hope you guys are learning something you know i've, I've already made mistakes and i hope you can learn from them and keep you from making those mistakes stay tuned for our next video i'm trying to put these in line for you and and try to do part one part two part three part four i'm trying to do segments of this so you can kind of see the process of this whole thing and um but hopefully maybe you may use this someday whatever but uh anyways thank you guys for watching this is all part of raising the american bison trying to do things right whatever the task is and however much effort you got to put into it it's all worth it for these animals and uh thank you guys for being part of this story and this journey this place has changed a bunch and uh, i think once we get this done this is kind of that last big final project and that i'll will definitely have some weight off my shoulders um, and it will feel good to have this this going so anyways thank you guys